Some breaking news, the jury in the murder and terrorism trial of Nathaniel Veltman has reached a verdict. Veltman accused of killing four members of a Muslim family and injuring a fifth after striking them with his pickup truck in London, Ontario in 2021. Let's go to CBC's Chris Insing, who's on the ground there. Uh, Chris, take us through the verdict. Uh, that's right. The jury has found Nathaniel Veltman guilty of four counts of first degree murder and one count of attempted murder. This follows a 10 week trial that has taken place here in Windsor. The Crown prosecutors did try this case as an act of terrorism, but the 12 jurors had no requirement or ability to publicly declare whether they agreed with that assessment. The courtroom inside of Windsor, I'm told we have reporters inside of there uh, saying that it is packed full of people. Members of the Muslim community have been coming here uh, throughout this trial and they have watched this as it occurred. The We are told inside of that courtroom people could be heard weeping as that verdict was read out. Once again, Veltman has been found guilty by a jury of four, crown, four counts of first degree murder and one count of attempted murder in relation to the attack that occurred in London two years ago uh, when he drove his pickup truck into the Afsal family, killing four people, three generations of a Pakistani Muslim community or family that had deep roots within the London community, and then a young boy who survived with serious injuries. That's what we can tell you the jury has decided. Uh, so let's dig into that a little bit. Um, we're going to keep you here for a little a bit now because we do expect to hear from the prosecution. The mm -hmm. prosecution expected to come out, make a statement. Also, the imam from that community where this tragedy happened back in 2021. Now, one of the things is that uh, he was not charged with terrorism per se, but the Crown prosecuted this as an act of terrorism. Dig into that a little bit for us. Yeah, so one of the things that we've been making sure to, to give it accurate and to follow through during mm -hmm. this trial is how terrorism played a role inside of this case. Uh, at the time, uh, we can remember the outpouring of support for the family, the rallies that occurred inside of London and across Canada uh, because of this attack, because of the deaths of the Ufsal family. Uh, and during this trial, this has been referred to as a, a murder terror trial. And the charges themselves are to do with first degree murder, which is what Veltman has been found guilty of and attempted murder one count as well. The charge from the justice. So the justice takes a moment after this thing is all done and looks towards the jury and gives them instructions. And it's not instructions on how to rule, but on the evidence that they considered and how they should be thinking about the decisions that they make. And it's actually referred to as sort of a flow chart. And it's if you think this, then this is true. If you think this, then this is true. If you think this, then this is true. And within that pathway, as it's often referred to, is terrorism. If this person, Nathaniel Veltman, did this with intent or deliberation to kill this family or uh, through that pathway uh, did this in a way of inspiring or motivating others against a particular group, uh, then that is how the jury can find this. But the jury doesn't come back and say, this is why we think this. And they, they don't make those deliberations public and we don't get involved in that process. So the public has no ability to interview juries afterwards and say, how did you come to this agreement? They just say, He's been guilty. We find him guilty. And that's what we've heard inside of the courthouse behind us here now. Uh, because of that, we know that the prosecutors tried this as terrorism, a terrorism motivated case. And that's because of the evidence that they've shown uh, throughout this uh, trial that has lasted 10 weeks. They've brought up uh, some of the information that Veltman was using to uh, uh, occupy his time on the internet before this attack took place. They spoke about the words that he had uh, in relation to this um, document that he created and did not post online but was available for people to look through the police to look through when they arrested him and inside of that uh, he talked about his desire uh, to make life difficult uh, for Muslim members of the community and, and talking about immigrants needing to leave. Um, the Crown has also pointed again to the idea in the closing remarks about how Veltman wanted to send a brutal message uh, to both Muslims and to white nationalists, to Muslims saying that they're not welcome here. And through this attack and with the jury finding him guilty, uh, they believe that this is uh, something that he did uh, commit, a first degree murder charge found guilty of an attempted murder as well. Uh, and then the other message that he sent through his actions uh, was to the white nationalist community that he believes 
um, uh, points could be inspired or look at this attack. Uh, and that's really where we've seen uh, in the outpouring of support for the Muslim community um, across Canada after these attacks, uh, after this attack occurred, we did see that outpouring of support and the worries and the concerns about the ripple effects that something like this could have. Uh, we've also heard from Veltman on the stand himself where he did uh, talk about the interview he gave with detectives where he talked about how he didn't want to, you know, uh, plead this case down, uh, that he, uh, during that interview process, told uh, the detective why he did this. Uh, but on the stand, he said he was just looking for a reason to rationalize uh, what had occurred. We heard about his upbringing, homeschooled uh, inside of a very Christian household, and that um, the way the defense tells it uh, uh, was in an upbringing where he was punished uh, often and isolated uh, and away from others, and that uh, he looked to try and find ways to, to create community. And at times, that was the Internet uh, and certain places that he went on to, to, to go and build and create community because of what had occurred earlier. Uh, all this coming right. out inside of this trial, but there's also things that we didn't hear in this trial as well that, that we'll be able to report now because the jury has been sequestered and now found him guilty of four counts of first degree murder and one count of attempted to murder. Yeah, let's get to that in just a second. We also have our Thomas Degg, who is inside the courtroom when that was read. So again, as we're hearing from our Chris Ensing now, Nathaniel Veltman, 22-year-old, has been found guilty of first-degree murder, also attempted murder. Uh, the jury came to that decision. Uh, approximately six hours of deliberation. And from our uh, reporter in the courtroom, he is saying that Veltman did not show any emotion, that there were people weeping inside of the courtroom at that time. Um, maybe, Chris, I'm going to just kind of talk a little bit here. So if you want to look down, try to gather uh, your thoughts, because I know you're getting information yourself from inside the courtroom. Uh, in this case, uh, of course, you have to remember that there was a whole family that was just out for a walk that night in 2021 when Nathaniel Veltman hit him with his truck. And in fact, the defense even conceded that the accused struck the family. Yes. What the defense was saying in this court case, they were saying that uh, he, that his part of their uh, evidence, he didn't have any criminal intent to kill the victims and didn't deliberately plan the attack. Clearly, the jury disagreed with that, that there is that family, uh, the Afsal family, and that is something that we have to remember in all of this uh, tr terrible tragedy that their lives ended and a young boy was seriously injured after that attack. Uh, let's go back to Chris Ensing. I know he's gathering a bit more information on the ground there. Uh, Chris, uh, do you need a couple more minutes or? We're, we're starting to see some of the reaction pour in here as well. Just looking through my social media feed from people within the Windsor community, they're paying attention to this case. They're watching it. The attack not occurring here, uh, but that they are paying attention to what happened here because there is a large Muslim community here in Windsor. Uh, some of the reporting we did beforehand, uh, there was uh, people that I spoke with who said that they, they didn't know if they could come and watch this case uh, and, and go into the courtroom and be beside Veltman because of what he was accused and now found guilty of. Uh, we've heard about uh, the from, from members of the Muslim community who say that this is an opportunity to reflect on how this all occurred and what can drive somebody uh, to take these actions uh, that Veltman has done. And, and throughout this whole process as well, one of the uh, parts about a jury trial that is always interesting is, is what the jury didn't hear. And uh, these are things that uh, the Crown and the defense may argue to bring in front of a jury that the, the judge or the justice uh, says is not, is not permissible inside of the courtroom as they make their decision. Uh, some of the things that they whether we have heard that we can now report is that the day before Veltman had killed the Ufsal family, he drove to Toronto wearing a body armor and a military helmet and said that this was a scouting mission in a mental health assessment and that he had been considering targeting abortion providers. Uh, that meant that helmet, mm -hmm. the body armor was found on him uh, during that process as well when they arrested him. Uh, all of this coming out now, I do believe that we're keeping a close eye on the door here as we try and uh, uh, see if the prosecution will be making those comments. Uh, so I think if it's okay, I'm going to actually stop yes. here to allow us to get set up uh, so that when they come out, we're in, a prep in the zone and, and the ability to bring those comments to you as well. Okay, Chris Sensing, uh, thank you very much to you and your team on the ground there. We will let you go get set up. Let me just bring our viewers that breaking news one more time. Nathaniel Veltman, 22 years old, has been found guilty of four counts of first-degree murder, one of attempted murder, 
for the killing of the Afzal family, a Muslim family in 2021. 